Pre-Calc 12, Chapter 2.4. For this lesson, we're going to learn how to sketch graphs of rational functions algebraically. So a reminder, it's P of X over Q of X. Here are the steps that you need to take. These are all the rules that you've already learned. Uh, use NPVs to find vertical asymptotes and holes. The holes are at the common factors between P of X and Q of X. Horizontal asymptotes occur when the degree of the numerator is less than or equal to the degree of the denominator. And the horizontal asymptote is A over B, where A and B are the leading coefficients of P and Q, if the degrees of the numerator and denominator match. The horizontal asymptote is Y is equal to zero if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. Slant asymptotes occur when the degree of the numerator is one greater than the degree of the denominator, and a vertical asymptote must exist. And to find the slant asymptote, use polynomial division. You can use synthetic or long division. You need to find the behavior near the vertical asymptotes. Generally, this is plus or minus 0.1 or 0 0.01 away from the vertical asymptotes. Find the behavior near the horizontal asymptotes. And generally use x equals plus or minus 100 or plus or minus 1,000. Find the x-intercepts. These are the zeros of the numerator. Find the y-intercept. Set x equals to zero and solve for y. Finally, label all intercepts and join the points smoothly. Polynomial functions are smooth, therefore there should be no jagged edges. Let's do an example. f of x is equal to x squared all over x minus two times x minus four. The NPVs are x equals two and four. And since there are no common factors, must be vertical asymptotes. The degree of the numerator matches the degree of the denominator. So there is a horizontal asymptote and y equals x squared over x squared. So that's one. There are no slant asymptotes because the degree of the numerator needs to be bigger than the degree of the denominator by one. Number four, now we need to find the behavior near the vertical asymptotes. All we're really interested in is the sign. So to the left of the vertical asymptote at two, we're looking at two minus 0.1. So we substitute 1.9 for x and see what we get for signs. So we have positive, positive over negative, negative. And this is positive infinity. At 2.1, this is 2 plus 0.1, positive, positive over positive and negative. So this is negative infinity. Let's look at the next vertical asymptote. We have 4 minus 0.1. So we have positive, positive over positive and negative. So we have negative infinity again, and four plus 0.1. So 4.1 substituted in, we have positive, positive over positive and positive. So this is positive infinity. Again, we're not concerned about the actual values, we just want to know the sign because we know that the vertical asymptote will go to either positive infinity or negative infinity. Okay, let's look at the end behaviors. And you just need a large value. Here we just need to substitute and see what we get. So this is 100 times 100 over 98 and 96. So what we need to consider is whether this is above or below the horizontal asymptote. 
100 is bigger than 98, 100 is bigger than 96. So this is going to be bigger than 1. And we have negative 100, negative 100 over negative 102 and negative 104. 100 is a smaller value than 102 in terms of absolute value. And 100 is smaller than 104 in terms of absolute value. So this is less than 1. The x-intercepts, the zeros of the numerator, so x squared equals 0. This means x equals 0. y-intercept, we have y equals 0 squared over negative 2, negative 4. And this is 0. So now we're ready to sketch. First thing to do is draw your asymptotes. So we have y equals 1, x equals 2, and x equals 4. We know our end behavior is below 1 at negative infinity. So we'll start there. We know there's no x-intercepts on the negative side, and we know that the intercepts are at 0, 0. There's no other intercepts, so it can't go below and cross again. We know that it goes to positive infinity to the left of the vertical asymptote at x equals 2. And it must join up with this intercept. We know that to the right of x equals 2, it's at negative infinity, and to the left of x equals 4, it's negative infinity. There's no intercepts here, so we just need to draw this below the axis. Finally, we know to the right of x equals 4, it goes to positive infinity, and at the horizontal asymptote, it's above the asymptote. And there's our sketch. That's complete. We'll do one more sketch. We'll look at f of x equals x minus 3 times x plus 2 times x plus 4 all over x plus 4 times x minus 4. So we have two NPVs. We can cancel out a common factor here. So at x equals negative 4, we have a hole. At x equals 4, we have a vertical asymptote because there's no common factor. The degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. So there is no horizontal asymptote. The degree of the numerator is one greater than degree of the denominator. Therefore, there's a slant asymptote because there's also a vertical asymptote. So we need to foil the numerator. We only need to foil what's remaining after cancelling. So we have x squared minus x minus 6. And our a in this case is 4, so we write 4, 1, negative 1, negative 6. Bring down the 1, 4 times 1, add them together, 3. So, slant asymptote is y equals x plus 3. Again, for the vertical asymptotes, we're just checking the sign. And we only need to check the sign of what's remaining. So we have positive times positive over negative. So this is negative infinity, 
at 4.1 we have positive positive over positive so this is positive infinity number five does not apply because we don't have a horizontal asymptote the x-intercepts since this is already factored we just use the factored form we have x equals 3 and x equals negative 2 for the y-intercept we plug this in 0 we get y equals negative 3 times 2 over negative 4 and this is 1.5 now we're ready to graph to plot this we need to start with the asymptotes so we plot y is equal to x plus 3 and we plot x is equal to 4. The next step is we plot the intercepts. We have negative 2, 0. We have 0, 1.5. And we have 3, 0. We'll start at the vertical asymptote to the left we have negative infinity and we go up and connect the intercepts and before we go too far there's a hole at negative four and we continue on next we have positive infinity and it comes down and it goes up following the slant asymptote and that completes the graph and it also completes this lesson